In this Ruby guide, we are going to walk through a fun exercise to see if a word is a palindrome. In fact, we're going to build a method that checks for it. And if you don't know what a palindrome is, I think the test should give you a pretty good idea of what they are and what they're supposed to do. So opening this up, you can see that we have a method called palindrome, which should simply return true or false. Remember, any time that we have a question mark at the end of a method name, then that method name by convention with Ruby should simply return a Boolean value, which means it should either be true or it should be false. It shouldn't return anything else. Now, if you look at the test, it says check if a word is a palindrome, and then it says it returns true if the word is a palindrome, false if not. And I actually created three expectations here, where we call the method and we pass in some string values. I have taco cat, I have taco cat with a capital T, and then I have baseball. Now, taco cat is a palindrome, so this should be true. Taco Cat, even with a capital T, is a palindrome, so this should be true. Baseball, though, is not. Baseball, as you can see, if you reverse it, is not a palindrome. Just as a frame of reference, a palindrome is a word that, if you reverse it, spells out exactly the same word. So Taco Cat is spelled T-A-C-O-C-A-T. If you spell it backwards, it's T A C O. C-A-T. So that's what a palindrome is. Now this is a pretty easy one to implement as long as you know the Ruby methods. So the first thing I'm going to do is check for word and then say double equals and say word dot reverse. Now if I hit save, you may think that this would work, but if you come over to RSpec and type in December 27th, you'll see that this is going to fail. And the reason it's going to fail is not exactly the easiest to read out just in the test, but it's because of this second test. Now, what this is checking for is it's checking to see if a word that is reversed is equal to the word by itself. That's the case for Taco Cat, and it's the case for baseball in regards to it being false, but it's not the case for this second word, and it's because Taco Cat is spelled with a capital T. So the way that you would typically fix this is to say word dot down case, uh, you also could say upcase, it really doesn't matter. Uh, all we're doing is ensuring that the case is going to be the same. And we're going to do it on both sides. Now if I hit refresh, hit clear, and run this again, you can see that now the examples all pass. And so that is how you can check if a word is a palindrome inside of Ruby. Now you may wonder why we're doing this, and there's a couple reasons. One is because this palindrome question tends to come up on some Ruby coding interview questions, so it's good to have a good idea for it. But it's also very important to understand the importance for checking for equality with strings when you have have different case items. So say that you were building out a search engine, a very common issue that people run into is when they check for equivalence, so they check to see if a word's included in a file or something like that, they forget to check for case issues. So a very common thing that you'll see is simply down casing the return value and the return or the value inside of the item that is in the search engine or in the database. So that is something that's pretty common and I thought this would be a nice, very kind of a base case example to see how this works and why it's important. Because like you saw, two of those examples pass perfectly, but one that we may not think of right away, which is when one of the words has a capital letter in it, didn't pass even though it really should have from a common sense point of view. So make sure that you always have in mind whenever you're doing a kind of a quality check on strings that you need to ensure that the case is the same and then you'll be in good shape. So I will see you tomorrow.